solo en las últimas horas.
Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Rosemary? Sin comentario. Good evening, teacher. Okay, Rosemary. Uh, hello, Osmin. How are you? Uh, okay, I am fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, very much. Yes, how was your day, Osmin? How uh, was your day? Yeah, I, I, I are in my home. Good. Nice. Okay. Thanks, good. thanks. Okay, good. So let's begin. What time is it? Uh, 20 01 in my clock. 20 01. 20 01. 20 01 in my clock. Okay, good, good. Are you watching the time in the computer or in a clock? In the clock of my phone. Good, good, very good. Yeah. Do you use your cell phone during the day, Osmin? Uh, what, excuse me, teacher? Do you use your cell phone during the day? Uh, yes, I use. Good, very good. Thank you, teacher. I, I am ready for class. Excellent. All right, okay. what's today's date? What's it? What's today's date? Uh, what? What's today's date? What dia? Yeah. dia? The date. Not only the day, but the date. Dates. Uh, Vamos a escribirlo ahorita y en el chat dice date. Ah, ok. What is the date? Eh, date de dato, es eh, verdad, sí. No. Fecha. Yeah. Ah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ok, gracias. What's the date? Eh, um, is now um, 9th of February. 9th of February, yes. 9th of February, okay. 9th of February. 9th of. 9th of to February. No, 9th of February. Uh, 9th of February, okay. What's the year? Yours, uh, uh, 2021. Good, 2021. Very when, good. Okay. All right. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, one moment, please, teacher. Sure. Uh, question in the work in of department. Yes, questions. Uh, okay. In basado en los en el verbo. W H words. W H words. Rosemary, do you remember W H words? No, teacher. Okay. No. Don't worry. They are in the chat. When, where, who, why, what. Those are WH words. Do you recognize those five words? Yes. 
si yo le digo, fíjese que vi a su hermano, usted me dice, when. Ah, ok. What's the meaning of when? When, ¿dónde? Este, when. 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 When you when. see my when. brother. So, but what is the meaning of when? What's the meaning of when? When, when, donde? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Cuando. 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 Cuando, exactly. El mismo ejemplo, yo le digo, fíjese que vi a su hermano, usted me dice, where? What is where? Don't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Adivine, que, adivine quién vi. Y usted me dice, who? Who. What's the meaning of who? Quién. Quién. ¿Quién? Uh -huh. ¿A quién? Uh -huh. Usted pregunta, ¿vas a comer? Y le dicen, no. Usted dice, why? Ah, uh, why. Okay. ¿Por okay. qué? Uh -huh. And then you have what? What color, what animal, what food, what country? It's general. And okay. I incluimos también how and which. How and which son consideradas también WH words. So, usted dice, me caí de la bicicleta. Usted dice, how? Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh. exactly. Okay, so we were making a combination of the WH word plus do and does. Rosemary, pregúnteme dónde vive ella. ¿Dónde vive? She does. Ah, ah. ¿Dónde vive? She ella? does live. Ah, ah. Nah. Uh, uh, How do you say dónde in English? Dónde. When does. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Where. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Where. 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 Where she does. Where she does living. Where does she live? Where does she live? Acuérdense, cada vez de que estamos ocupando el do el does para hacer preguntas, la forma del verbo siempre va a ir en su forma base. ¿Cuál es su forma base? La forma en la que usted la va a encontrar en un diccionario. Eat, go, come, pay, drive, play. Y así sucesivamente. Ok. Luis, pregúnteme por qué digo eso. Why are you saying that? ¿Por qué dice eso? No por qué lo está diciendo. ¿Por qué dice eso? Why you are saying that? Not really. Someone else? Según la clase que vimos ayer. You see the chat? Why do you say that? Uh. Yeah. Now, if you say, why do you say that? U ocupe la, la versión que usted me dijo, why are you saying that? The question, the meaning in the question is exactly the same. Uh -huh. The only difference is the structure. Uh -huh. However, when you change the structure, you change the tense. So, ¿por qué dice eso? Why do you say that? Uh -huh. Pero si yo digo, why are you saying that? Mm, me dijeran, no, no, no habla bien. O sea, no, 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 para nada, para nada. Por eso le digo. Si usted me estuviera diciendo, why are you saying that? ¿Por qué estás diciendo eso? ¿Por qué dices eso? The message is the same. El mensaje es lo mismo. Lo único que estaría cambiando de, de, de tiempo gramatical 
pero la pregunta está bien hecha, está correcta. Why do you say that? Okay, okay. Why do you say that? Okay, Jessica, how are you? Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome back. Thank you. Okay. Any questions about yesterday class? Rick, can you hear me? No teacher, yes. How do you say cuando hablas con tu supervisor? Let me see it. Uh, when do you um, talk with your supervisor? Good. When do you talk with your supervisor? When do you talk with your supervisor? ¿Cuándo habla usted con su supervisor? Mm -hmm. Any questions? Questions, questions? Sí. ¿Y si quiere decir cuando ellos hablan con su supervisor? When do they talk with their supervisor? ¿Y cuando ella, when does she? Exactly. Yes. When, uh -huh. when do they? Uh -huh. Ok, ¿cómo preguntaría uh -huh. cuándo usa usted su bicicleta? When do you use your bicycle? Yeah. When do you use your bicycle? Yes. All right. Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions. So if I go like this. Because she is mad. Because she is mad. ¿Qué digo ahí? Porque ella está enojada. Ajá. Entonces pregúnteme por qué ella actúa así. Why is she acting like that? Why does she? Ah, why does she acting like that? Uh -huh. Why does she act like that? So remember this. Fíjese bien, esto es para todos. Ah, uh, why does she act like that? Mm -hmm. Ahí está la estructura, la cual si usted la sigue, usted puede hacer un millón de preguntas en el presente simple. Luis, dígame un WH, solo la palabra, solo un WH. Eh, I don't understand how, how come. Uh, WH, uh, why, when. Uh -huh. Any of them, any of them. Uh, well, it's. Where, which, when, oh. what? Okay, but only one. Mention one. Ah, okay, okay. What? What? Marta Monge, can you hear me? Marta Monge. Rosemary, can you hear me? Sí, teacher. Yes. Okay. Can you choose do or does? Escoja uno de los dos. Eh, does. Ok. Y aquí empieza la regla gramatical que les he mencionado varias veces. Janet Morales, can you hear me? Yes. Ok. What personal pronoun van con does? She, he, it. Ok. Escoja uno. Okay. Okay, Rosalena, can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Sorry good for evening. the delay. No, don't worry. I'm, I'm done. I can't 
turn on my camera for the moment because I'm that, doing. That's okay. Don't worry. But I'm uh, listening to you. <laughs> okay. How do you say sonar in English? Sound. Okay. Uh, the, how do you say verse? Verse is better. Verse. Sí. Okay. Verse. Hey, te ves bien. How do you say that? You look good. Good. Look. Look. What does it look? Y aquí le voy a poner yo el último, el complement. What does it look like? Ah, okay. It's look, it's look like a, um, like a duck. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> it looks like a dog. Okay. ¿Qué dice esa pregunta en español? What does it look like? ¿Cómo se ve? Exactly. Y si usted se fija, construimos esa pregunta con cuatro personas diferentes y cada persona aportó una parte. Ahora imagínese trabajando usted solo. Voy a hacer un millón. Questions. What W H means? Uh, because they start with W and H. That's exactly. Why. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. But they are question words. Exactly. You can call them question words or you can call them WH words. The two names are valid. All right. Any questions, class? Vamos a hacer otro para que se fije. Rick, please mention one WH. There. Where? Okay. Jessica, can you mention a subject or personal pronoun? I mean, uh, do or does. Do. Huh? Do. Do. Okay. Osmin Baides, can you hear me? Okay, uh, yes, uh, where? Okay, what personal pronouns do we use with do? Where, um, where do do you, where, where do? No. Uh-huh, where do? Where do you? Okay, excellent, you. Uh, let me see. Marta Monge, can you hear me? Okay, I guess not. A ver, a ver. Where's the chat? Right here. Okay, Luis, can you mention a verb? Um, play. Play. Okay, where do you play Rosalena? Can you mention a sport? Um, American football. Okay, football. Football. Yes, football. And there you have it. Five different people with five different income. Where do you play football? So once again, where está aquí? Do está acá. You is the subject. Play is the verb. And then football is the complement. Uh, do is for I, you, or they, right? Are you, we, they? Are we, uh -huh. Are you, we, and they, uh -huh. Yes, are you, we, they? All right, any questions? Okay, let me ask you. How do you practice listening? Uh, how do you practice your listening? Watching movies. Okay, watching movies, someone else? Listening music. Listen to music. What else? 
¿Tienen algún sitio donde puedan practicar listening? Uh, British, British Council, teacher. Concert. Council. British Council. Yeah, British Council. Yes. yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. So listen to this. Les voy a enseñar un sitio. Vamos a irnos aquí. Nos vamos para Google. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes, sí, teacher. Ok. Yes, yes. So. Nos vamos para Google. Y ahí ponemos English Club. Can you see the bar? Yes. Okay, English Club. Y le doy Enter. Cuando le doy Enter, me vengo acá. Learn or teach English today. When I click, what color is the bar? Brown. Brown. Piense bien. Grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, listen, speak, read, write. You can practice everything here. Everything. What is the only requirement? El único requisito que usted quiera aprender. Nos vamos a ir a listen. Fíjese bien. ¿Se acuerdan cómo aprendieron a hablar español, verdad? Escuchando. Exactly. So, nos vamos a ir a... Y ese bien donde me estoy yendo. Nos vamos a ir a online dictation. I click. A ver, a ver qué lo hice. Ok, online dictation. How many categories are there? How many categories? We have three. What are the name of the categories? The first one is elementary, wine light dictation. Uh -huh. And the intermediate one line dictation and the last one advanced on light dictation. Okay, good. So, nos vamos a ir. ¿A cuál nos vamos a ir? The first one. <laughs> elementary. Yes. So, nos vamos a ir al... So, fíjese bien. Aquí están todos los temas que usted quiere, quiere practicar. Questions, numbers and letters, people, places and weather, commands and requests, common expressions, quantities, currency, telephone, and quotes. Si usted ya tiene su visión clara que el por qué debe de hablar inglés, puede decir, ah, porque en, el, en mi trabajo me piden muchos números. En mi trabajo hablamos mucho de cantidades o números telefónicos y cosas así. So, fíjese bien. Questions. Fíjese bien a dónde le voy a dar. Look careful. Will you be here on Sunday? ¿Pueden oír el audio? No, teacher. No? Ok. Here, let's try. Will you be here on Sunday? Can you hear it? Yes. Listen oh. carefully. No. Will you be here on no. Sunday? No. We can listen. No escuchan nada. No escuchan el audio. No, teacher. Nada. No. Mm -hmm. It's not playing. Yo sí lo puedo oír. Ah. Yo sí lo escucho. ¿Quién lo escucha? Yo. Yo también lo escucho. Ok. Vaya, fíjese bien. Fíjese bien. Probablemente su computadora tiene que tener cierta... Uh... Ahora bien. En el número dos, ¿qué creen va a pasar? Fíjese lo que dice. Listen again at low speed and write what you hear. 
Si lo vuelven a decir, fíjese bien. Will you be here on Sunday? Question mark. Hasta le dicen cuál es el último signo de puntuación con el que termina el ejercicio. Fíjese bien. Listen carefully. Will you be here on Sunday? Question mark. Entonces, de esto se trata este sitio. En el número uno, usted lo oye at normal speed, velocidad normal. En el número dos, se lo dicen casi que en cámara lenta. Es bueno porque está entrenando su oído, pero es malo porque en la vida real nadie le habla así. Will you be here on Sunday? Ajá. Entonces, aquí en este espacio, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Be here on Sunday. Entonces, en ese espacio, usted va a escribir lo que oye. We'll be here on Sunday. Mm. Will you be here on Sunday? Después de haber usted ingresado su respuesta, usted se va al número cuatro. El número cuatro le van a decir cuál es la, lo que dijeron. Fíjese bien. Y ahí está. Will you be here on Sunday? Will you be here on Sunday? So, ¿qué es lo que hace? Usted compara lo que usted escribió, what you wrote, with the original answer. Questions. Questions, questions. No question. Uh, I think that is a good site to learn more. Right. Yes. Yeah. It's a good site to practice your listening. Y fíjese, aunque no entienda, aunque no entienda, dele así en cámara lenta. Vamos a hacer uno más. Listen carefully. Vamos a ver quién se acuerda. ¿Qué hace el número uno? Listen at normal speed. Ajá. Number two. Listen again at low speed. What do you do in the chart? Write uh, the answer. Ok. Write the answer. And what do you do last? ¿Qué hacen de último? Listen again. El número tres lo puede dejar como opcional. ¿Qué hace el número cuatro? For the answer. Exactly. Listen carefully. How do I get to Union Station from here? How do I get to Union Station from here? Y aquí vamos con slow motion. How do I get to Union Station from here? Question mark. Question mark. Y le preguntaron, how do I get to Union Station from here? ¿Qué le están preguntando ahí? How do I get to Union Station from here? Una ¿Cómo llego a la estación uh, desde acá? Ajá, excellent. Entonces, ¿cómo va a decir cómo llego a Santa Tecla desde acá? How do I get to Santa Tecla from here? Exactly. Entonces, esto va para todos. Ahí donde dice Union Station, usted le quita Union Station y le pone el destino real donde usted quiere llegar. Pregúnteme cómo llegar al Parque Central. How do, How do I get I... to Central Park from here? Exactly. How do I get to Central Park from here? Pregúnteme cómo llego a Popa desde aquí. How do you get a popa from there? To a popa from here. From Aquí here. Está la respuesta. Y ahí dice, how do I get to Union Station from here? Y como les estaba diciendo, es opción de ustedes. Aquí estamos practicando con 
con preguntas en general. Preguntas en general. Pero, como le estaba diciendo, ok, aquí estamos. Questions, ¿ve? Usted puede tratar, puede intentar trabajar con números y letras, gente, lugares y clima, commands and requests, common expression, quantities, currency, telephone, and quotes. Any questions? What is the meaning of quotes? ¿Qué significa quotes? Cotizaciones. Excellent. Pero en este caso también significa frases célebres. Quotes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, any questions about the site, people? Estamos bien? Are we okay? All right, so let's go here. Sí. Aquí estamos. Look here. ¿Se les hace familiar esta página? No la vemos. Oh, sorry. Se me olvida activar el, el share. Sorry. Teacher, a question. Excuse me? Uh, question. Yes, sir. Eh, cuando, cuando nos referimos a un lugar, el ejemplo que usted puso fue, digamos, how do you get to a popa? From here. Okay. Uh -huh. pero, pero cuando este, llega, queremos llegar a una meta, por ejemplo, pudiera, pudiera decirse, how do you get to a eh, doctor? No. Yes. How do you get to the doctor? Sí. ¿Cómo llego del doctor? Claro que sí. Ah, ya. Yeah. ¿Cómo llegas okay. a, la, a la estación de bus? How do you get to the bus station? Claro que sí. Ah, bien. Excelente, gracias. Very good. So, fíjese bien. Uh, we have five different exercises. For every exercise, you have three possibilities. What is the best answer for number one? When. Fíjese la respuesta que le dan. At the shop. What is the meaning of at the shop? Tienda. Okay. Where? 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 Okay, so where do I get a newspaper? Como la pregunta, la respuesta está relacionada a un lugar, la, la mejor opción es where. Where do I get a newspaper? The shop. What about number two? Sunday. When? When? Uh -huh. When? Sunday. What's the meaning of Sunday? A day. Yes. A day. A Entonces day. está relacionado con cuando. Day. What about number three? Who? Who do you live with? Uh -huh. Who do you live with? Fíjese bien. En español ocupamos la preposición with al inicio. Who do you live here with? Con quién vive usted aquí? ¿Con quién viviste aquí? The preposition with en inglés siempre va a ir al final. What about number four? What do you do? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? I play the guitar. What about number five? How? How does she go to school? By bus. ¿Qué preguntaba ahí en español? ¿Cómo se va a la escuela? En exactly. Bus. By bus. By bus. Any questions? ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? ¿Are we okay? Yes. All right. Let's continue. We'll do one more. And here we go. Look here. Unscramble. Unscramble. What is the meaning of unscramble? Ordenar. Yes. Ordenar las preguntas, dice ahí. 
unscramble the questions, type them correctly. Don't forget your capital letter and the question mark at the end. ¿Qué recordatorio le están dando? Que ponga la mayúscula y el, sin, el, el punto final. ¿Punto final o signo oh, de interrogación? El, el signo de interrogación, perdón. Exactly, very good. So ahí tiene cinco preguntas que están desordenadas. What is your mission? Ordenarlas. So, go ahead and do it. Hagámoslas. Hágalas en su cuaderno.
Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. Volunteer for number one. Where do you go to a school? Yes, where do you go to school? ¿Qué le preguntan ahí? ¿Dónde va la escuela? ¿Dónde va la escuela? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde estudia? La escuela? Ajá. Exacto. Excellent. What about number two? La número dos, ¿qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? Exactly. What do you do? What do you do? What do you what Si usted do se do? fija, ahí el do, el primer do, está como auxiliar para hacer la pregunta. Y la segunda forma es el verbo hacer. What do you do? ¿Qué hace? Where ¿Qué se dedica? You? What do you do? Where, where does John come from? En cuando dice what do you do, um, ¿con qué W va escrita el what? Capital letter. Capital letter. Capital letter. Very good. What about number three? Where does John come from? ¿De dónde Excellent. Viene ¿De dónde viene John? Yes. Where does John come from? Where does John come from? Excellent, Marta. Number four. Where you play tennis do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What is the question? Where do you play tennis? Where do you play tennis? How do you say in una cancha? In a cancha. cancha in, in, a court. in a court. Good. In a court. ¿Por qué no puedo decir field? Yeah. Eh. Es tennis. <laughs> Because field is for football, I think. Okay. And in a court is, uh, is, is, I think that is a small um, space. space. Okay. No, I, don't, I don't know, maybe. Yes. Uh, number one is the space. The, is the, the dimensions. Space. The dimensions, exactly. Do you say basketball court or basketball field? Basketball court. Okay. Do you say soccer court or soccer field? Okay. Okay. Ajá. So, la diferencia es, si la cancha está pavimentada o es de madera, usted dice court. If it's natural, you say field. Do you see it? Yes. Ok, ¿cómo va a decir cancha de fútbol? Soccer field. Soccer field. Soccer Very field. Good. All right, and what is the answer for number five? How do they get to work? How do they get to work? How is that capital H or lowercase h? Capital. 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 Okay. Y ahí le daban las instrucciones. Don't forget your capital letter and the question mark at the end. Right. Questions or comments? ¿En qué casos ocupamos capital letters? When do we use capital letters? Al inicio de una oración. Okay, how do you say al inicio de una oración in English? When it, it's the at the beginning, in the beginning. At the beginning, at the beginning of a beginning. sentence. Okay. At the, the beginning, beginning of a sentence. What else? After a dot? After a period? After a period, huh? Yes, at the beginning of a sentence. Al inicio de qué dice ahí? De una oración. Ajá. Uh -huh. O como dijo uh, Luis, after a period. Ajá. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of period? Punto. Punto. What is dot? Punto. But is used with uh, uh, email addresses. Excellent. And what is point? Point is for numbers. Exactly. Very good. So, nosotros decimos uh, 1.2 millones de personas. Son números. 
a punto com, es un email. No va a salir y punto. Es, es, eh, ahí está terminando. In English, you use them different. Si usted está cerrando una oración, usted va a decir period. Si está dando un correo, va a decir dot. Y si está hablando de números, usted va a decir point. Any questions or comments? No? All right. So, see is here. When is Semana Santa this year? How do you say Semana Santa in English? Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. When is Holy Week this year? I think it's the first week of, on, of April. First week of April? Okay. Do you remember Holy Week from 2020? No. No. <laughs> Do you remember Holy Week from 2020? La Semana Santa siempre llegó. Que hayamos hecho algo, no, es diferente. But do you remember Holy Week? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we I remember. We stayed at home. home. Exactly. <laughs> we stayed at home. Every yeah. time we stayed at home. <laughs> Everybody stayed at home. Yes. And we had restrictions <laughs> with your ID. Solo podían salir yes. un cierto número de tu Yeah. <laughs> It's part of history. So, so difficult. <laughs> yeah. It, it was difficult. It was difficult. Yes. All right. So let me show you this. Here we go. Okay. Can you see my book? Yes, sir. All right. Aquí está lo que estuvimos haciendo ayer. What, when, why, who, and so on. Okay. Uh, what's in the picture? Um, two guys talking. Okay, two guys. What's in the background? A calendar. A calendar, yes. What is the function of a calendar? To tell us the days of the year. Good. How do you say año bisiesto in English? I, I forget. <laughs> There is a movie that I love it in. Uh-huh. <gasps> My God. <laughs> leap year. Yes, leap year. Leap there is year. a movie that I that I love it. Leap okay. Year. Yes. <laughs> how many days? How many days are there in a leap year? Six thousand three hundred sixty-four. Three hundred and sixty-four. In a leap year. No. Six. 366. Yes, 366. Oh, yeah. It's an extra one, day. One day more. Exactly, it's an extra day. How do you say un día si, un día no? Uh -huh. Si se le olvidó. Every, no, uh -huh. no, no. Every, every other day. Every other day. Every Excellent. Other day. Every <laughs> other day. day. Si tomó tiempo en responderlo, write it again. Write it again. Y yes. cuando usted diga every other day, entonces ya no necesita de escribir. So, every other day. All right. So, how many months are there in one year? 12. 12. How many days are there in one year? How many what? How many days Eight. are there uh, in one year? 365. 365. How many weeks are there? How many ¿Cuántas weeks? Are there in one year? ¿Cuántas in one semanas year? hay? Uh -huh. 48? Not exactly. 52? ¿Cuál es el bus que sube en todo el paseo escalón? 49? 79? No, no, 52. No. 52. <laughs> 52. <laughs> exactly, 52. So there are 52 weeks in one year. Hay 52 semanas en un año. All right. So here we go. So there are two people. 
How many women in, in the picture? None, I guess. None, none. How many men? Two. 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 Okay. So we have a conversation. Pay attention to the pronunciation. You guys will take turns reading. It says number two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Y es exactamente lo que vamos a hacer. How many people in the conversation? Two. Two. Very good. Yeah. It goes like this. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Any questions there? Questions, questions? No. Okay. So ahorita vamos with the first um, activity. Pero antes de eso, vamos a pasar lista for the first time. What's today's date? February 9th. Exactly. So please activate your camera when I call your name. Alicia Hernandez Monge. Absent. Cesar Argueta Castillo. Absent. Claudio Soria Alvarado, absent. Stephanie Martinez. Stephanie, Stephanie, are you here? Okay, so she's absent. Jacqueline Martinez. Absent. Jessica Escamilla. Present. Thank you. Catherine Hueso. Absent. Luis Martinez. Present. Good. Maria Esther Castillo. Absent. No se les olvide poner present en el chat. Maria Gabriela Ramos. Absent. Marta Alicia Monge. Present. Thank you, Marta. Welcome back. Marta Araceli Rodríguez. Absent. Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Thank you, Osmin. Okay. Antonia Rodríguez. Antonia Rodríguez. Qué raro, ya siempre ha estado presente en las clases. Uh, Rick Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Roselena Salgado. Present. Thank you. Rosa Maria George. Present. Thank you. Sandra Carolina Monge. Absent. Vilma Sorto. Present. Thank you, Vilma. And Janet Morales. Present. Thank you very much. All right, so, fíjese bien, esto es lo que vamos a hacer. En pareja, usted va a leer eh, Conversation 2. Si digamos yo estuviese trabajando con Janet, ella va iniciando a ser Kevin y yo voy a hacer Albert. When we finish, um, yo voy a hacer Kevin y ella va a hacer Albert. La idea es de que ambos tengamos la oportunidad de leer todo el párrafo y después, en After, you go to part three. So, basado en, 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 la, en la conversación, usted responde estas preguntas. Any questions so far? Preguntas? I guess not. Mm -hmm. 
vamos a All right, here we go. I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have quick time? Okay, let's see, right? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay, how was your day, Luis? Uh, very busy, very busy at work. I have to um, do a lot of quotes. What did you do in your work? Uh, design project of technologies. You know, uh -huh. surveillance camera, networking, Wi-Fi, things like uh -huh. that. To make programs or create programs about this? No, products that give you like Wi Fi. Oh, Wi Fi. Uh, or oh, networking okay. to connect surveillance camera, IP phones. Ah, you moved to another uh, places or, or only to work in, in your company? I don't know. No, uh, uh, we work in my section, we work five guys. We are engineers. Oh, five guys. Uh -huh. In oh, my section, but we are like 100 in the company. People, 100 people. What is the major company, Mister? Uh, JM Telcom. JM Telcom. Mm. Uh, it's a big company around the Salvador, San Salvador. So. Uh, it's a middle company. It's a middle company. Uh -huh. You cover the downtown, the San, San Salvador. And what? You cover cover the the San Salvador. Yeah, we cover all El Salvador, but we only have office here in San Salvador. Oh, no. Because El Salvador is not that big, you can do it with a, with one office. Ah, there are, there are another uh, departments around El Salvador. I don't know. Uh, we only have one office. But can you do me a favor? Sorry, what is it? I do. What uh, is it? What is you, Mister <clears throat> Mister Had to the what day or oh, that day? I am not so sorry. No sé cómo se pronuncia sorry. Sorry, Mister. Okay. I am not so sorry. Give, give me a second. ¿Cómo? Déjeme voy a ver. Dice In Albert. I am not so sorry. Vamos a ver. Oh, sure. 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 Ah. ¿Qué significa sure? Sure. Seguro. Muro. Seguro. Oh, seguro. Ajá. What time ah. does Segura. he, Yo soy he finish the work on this Tuesday? Or... Sigue. 
que esté ejerciendo como cantidad. Entonces, este, la, la pronuncia A. Ah, ah, ok. Write a report. En, este, en este caso, ajá, diría así, como usted lo acaba de decir. Write a report. Sí. Uh -huh. Ah, bien. Interesante. Ok. Y en donde dice on Tuesday es como, como que esté so, este, sirvando al mismo tiempo. Ajá, aquí, a ver. Mandas, Mr. Witt. Esa es la tres. La que le dije que era la tres, ¿verdad? Le dicen, hay, hay, bueno. Because I need some to help me move it from the box. Can you do me a favor? Porque necesito a alguien que me ayude a mover algunas cajas. ¿Me puedes? ¿Me puedes? ¿qué? Hacer un favor. Hacer un favor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahora, sure. Seguro, dice que esto, pero la última palabra no sé qué quiere decir. ¿Cuál? La que le... Abau. What? What is this? What is this? Um, 
Man dice, sur, what is, oh, segura, segura de que se trata, de que se trata, de, seguro de que se trata, seguro. Le, la respuesta le dice, seguro de que Ajá. se trata, es como Ajá, que le diga, ¿Me, me puede ayudar, usted me responde, sure, sure. What seguro, is de qué se trata. Algo. Ah, seguro de qué se trata. Okay. Ajá. Son dos diferentes. Sure es la respuesta. Sure. Y la, segunda, la siguiente pregunta es de qué se trata. De qué se trata. Oh, ok. Right. Yeah. Gentlemen. Hello, teacher. How are you? Did you guys finish uh, talking? Yes, teacher. Yes, I, I went from, from some water, sorry. Don't drink water. <laughs> <laughs> I like water. Oh, water is the best liquid ever. And I have a special glass for it, a big one. Good, good. <laughs> How much water do you drink, Ricardo? Um, I don't know, teacher. Maybe I drink one liter or two liter on the day. <laughs> no. okay. Do you like cold water or warm water? I like prefer warm water, teacher. Yeah. Be yeah. Because if I drink uh, cold water, uh, maybe I get uh, how do you say it? Gripe, uh, teacher. Cold. Hipo. No, gripe. Oh, Creepy. cold. I get a cold. Okay, yeah. So you're sensitive in this area? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. sensitive. <laughs> All right. What about you, Luis? How much water do you drink? A lot. Like five liters a day because I, I do a lot of, of gym and surfing and I need a lot of water to be in shape. Right, right. Yeah, water is a great thing, you know. Uh, first, you benefit your kidneys, you know, so you don't have to worry about that. And then second, water is our gasoline. Yeah, some people don't drink water at all, only Coke or beer. Coke it's is not, delicious. But it's not healthy, that. How do you say, but ya no digamos in English? <laughs> uh, don't I don't say that anymore. Let alone. How, how do you spell it? Yeah, yeah. Right here. Because um, Louis says uh, some people only drink Coke. So I told him, and then he says, and some people only drink beer. So I told him, Coke is delicious, let alone <laughs> beer. Ya no digamos. Ya no digamos. No digamos. Or you say no, uh, tobacco is dangerous for your health, let alone drugs. You know, let alone. Okay, okay. Right. So that's uh yeah, so water is 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 you know in my office, you know, the place where the water is, it's like uh 20 meters, approximately 20 meters. I said, okay, if I want water, I have to get up. So sometimes I said, no, I'll wait until I go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. And on my way back, I fill the, the bottle. So that's what I do. But when I'm at home, the water is like a meter and a half from here. So I'm drinking lots of water. How do you say reponer in English? Refill? Reponer. Yeah. Reponer. About the uh, water teacher or about the uh, person? Uh, reponer. Vamos a reponer la clase que perdimos. Vamos a reponer los 20 dólares que hicieron falta. Make up. Make up. Ahí está en el chat. Make up. So, uh, so when I'm at home talking with you guys, I said, the water is just right here. So I'm going to make up for the water that I didn't drink during the day. So I start drinking a lot of water. Yep. How do you say that sentence, make up? Make up. 
So I'm going to make up the water that I didn't drink on work during the day or at work, right? So voy a reponer el agua que no bebí. I'm going to make up. Exactly. I'm going to make up for the water I didn't drink during the day. So that's that's how you use makeup. Reponer. How much water do you drink, teacher? What is it? How much water do you drink? Uh, at work, well, it depends because sometimes I have to be out of the office. If that's the case, I drink maybe like two liters. Uh, if I'm in the office, maybe a liter, a liter and a half. But the real drinking of water, I do it here at home. Would be five or six liter, teacher. <laughs> approximately, approximately, because too much so water. far <laughs> I have drunk three of these. You know, wow. it's been one hour, and I drank three of these. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> and, and, it's a big one. I glass, plan yeah. to drink uh, uh, maybe two more from here. But on what, ha here. what what happened with your coffee, teacher? I remember you drink coffee. <laughs> uh, yeah, I drink coffee, but that's a strictly done in the mornings. The thing oh. is that coffee gets me insomnia. So I could be drinking coffee here, nice, blah, 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 but 10 o'clock and my eyes are wide open. Oh. So, and <laughs> then I regret it. I shouldn't have drunk uh, uh, coffee. But at the night you don't drink coffee, teacher. So that's the reason um, after 5 p.m., I usually never drink coffee. Okay. Yeah. When you say mandatory, right? <laughs> now, there are times that um, that I have work to do, and I said, okay, I need at least three or four hours to finish that work, to finish that project. I need, I need to wake up, maybe. <laughs> right. Or, or let's say, you know, I have a document that I have to send either tonight but, or, or tomorrow morning. But you are saying that you can calculate if I drink one cup of water, of, of coffee, I can be three more hours awake. That's what you're saying. It, yes, it depends how strong I drink it. Uh, so an example uh, is, I have a document that I need to send either tonight or first thing tomorrow in the morning. So I'm so tired that I'm going to sleep after here. So, but imagine it was an urgent document. I will drink some coffee. And I said, okay, this is gonna keep me awake until one or two a.m. So, so you can calculate that. It depends how strong I make it. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And I drink um, strong coffee. You know, like small amount of water with a good uh, quantity of coffee with no sugar. So and it wires me up. Because there are different types of coffee, right? America. No, I don't remember the names, but there is American coffee. American coffee is the type? Yeah, American. Espresso, uh huh. Espressos are killer. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Remember how to say lodo in English? Uh, mud. Mud, yeah. right. Mud, mud. So how espresso, do you spell it? M U D. Ah, M U D, uh huh. Yeah, mud. So there are times that I drink some espressos somewhere else, and my God, it's like drinking mud. <laughs> <laughs> but you wake up, uh, uh, teacher, you wake up. Uh, or the, um, the morning, but how do you say madrugada teacher? A down. A down, okay. Yeah. <laughs> or like imagine, sometimes I need to, um, I need to send documents like uh, really early. So what I do, if I'm tired the previous day, what I do, um, I wake up at two or 3 a.m. It depends how much time I need. So but the first thing I do, I drink some strong coffee. But the next day you go, you go to the work teacher, the next day? The same day, the same day. Ah, so the I same, wake yeah, up at, yeah, the, but, the yeah. same day, yeah. yeah. So I wake up at 3 a.m., I prepare the work, send it, and prepare myself to go to work. But you went to bed Maybe. early? Uh, usually, uh, usually. To do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't punish myself going to bed late. Yeah, me too. Do you remember how to say this velar in English? No, I don't. <laughs> stay up. Ah, stay up. 
say oh, okay. <laughs> yeah i don't like staying up those days are over maybe 25 years ago it was a whole different story yes <laughs> not anymore when you're in your 20s and early 30s you can do that but after 35 i think it's difficult yeah 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 you feel you're invincible oh let's go uh -huh. here go there and <laughs> It's 12 p.m. It's still 12 a.m. It's still early, and but after and you that, go and, <laughs> and you go to party Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah, and sometimes even Sunday. You said, "Oh, uh -huh. I'm free, so why suffer the hangover? Let's uh -huh. drink again." <laughs> <laughs> so Mondays are terrible. Mondays well, are um, terrible. Yeah. So, anyways, let's go back to the main session. Okay. Me okay. Too. All right, welcome back. Any questions about the exercise? Questions, questions? I guess not. All right, let me see this here. Can we give a short answer? Sure, sure. Yes. So, so okay. matter of fact, we're, we're going with the answers right now. It says. Okay. What is what is the answer for number one? What do or what does Albert? I think that we can just uh, auxiliary does because we had uh, such a pronoun Albert, right? Right, and Albert is he, and he yes. is the third person singular. The answer so, is okay. does, right, teacher? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What does Albert, what does Albert have, have to do, do on Thursday? Uh huh. The answer the answer can be. He has to check the production? Yeah, he has to check the production for the new product. He, yes. he has to check the production. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, what about number two? Why do or why does Kevin need help? Uh, does Kevin need help? Uh -huh. Why does Kevin need help? What is the answer? Kevin he needs to move, move some boxes. Excellent. Kevin needs to move some boxes. What's the meaning of boxes? Cajas. Cajas. Exactly. Number three. Who do you think is going to help Kevin? Albert. Albert? Or another possibility? Mr. Ruiz. Mr. Reese is another possibility. Yes. Then we have number four. What does Mr. Ruiz do on Thursday? Mm, they don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not, not sure. sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? We're not sure. So when you don't know, that's a typical answer people usually give. I'm not I'm sure. Not sure. I'm not All sure. right. Any questions in exercise three? <coughs> no? All right. So now we go to part four. In a second. Right there. Okay, right here. Information questions. So this is like the second part of what we have been practicing. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? Which department does her boss supervise? What time does Miguel start to work? Any questions? Aquí en la segunda, can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Okay, Tuesday tendría que ir a sin la S. Where does he go on Tuesday afternoons? ¿Por qué tiene que ir sin S? ¿Quién sabe por qué? Porque Tuesday afternoon, la palabra Tuesday Está sirviendo como un adjetivo. 
Y los adjetivos en inglés toda la vida son, son singular. They are never plural. So, bórrele esa S y dice, where does he go on Tuesday afternoon? Any questions about the left or the right part? She visits other companies and has meetings. He goes to the company's headquarters. Our boss supervises the marketing department and Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. What's the meaning of headquarters? Oficinas principales. Centrales. Uh -huh. Las oficinas centrales. How do you say oficinas centrales in El Salvador? Casa... Casa matriz. Casa matriz. Casa matriz. Right. Uh -huh. Headquarters. Okay. Vale. Any questions? Preguntas? Okay, let's see this here. So, so this is our next exercise. Create questions with the words provided. So, tiene que hacer usted las cuatro, um, las cuatro preguntas. Eh, dependiendo si va a ocupar do, si va a ocupar does, and so on. So, go ahead, please. Who was that saying those bad words? A killer man, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe someone is running for his life. <laughs> in El Salvador, teacher. <laughs> exactly. Battle this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Te lo puedo. Oh, pass me the wallet.
You guys ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, what's the answer for number one? I think that for the number one is, why does he have a meeting? Good, why does he have a meeting? Uh-huh. What would be a logical answer for that question? Why does he have a meeting? Maybe, let me see, uh, could be Monday. <laughs> because, me? because it's a meeting of, of his work. Okay, because it's a meeting of his work. Someone else? Why does he have a meeting? Because he does, no, because he, have, he has. Uh huh. Yes? Yeah, because, because he, he has, has. Because he has to explain something. Good. Good. Very good. What is the answer for number two? I mean, question number two. Where does she participate in? Where does she present the payment? Okay, where does she payments. process the payments? Okay, payments. let me tell you something about pronunciation. Let me put it right here. How do you pronounce that word? Process. process. Do you say process or process? Process. Process. Okay. No. Where she, where she process? Okay. What about the process. other one? Do you say record or record? Mm. It depends. Uh, it depends, yeah. Depends on what? Or what are you saying in the sentence? Okay. How would you explain example, that to somebody? Uh huh. Yeah. Go ahead. For example, uh, this. Um, how do you say "rompió el record mundial"? <laughs> I don't broke know. the world record. Okay. The gym, the gymnasta broke the world record. Okay. And when do you and say record? Other, record. We have to record a conversation. Okay. Conversation. Okay, yes. your, your, your example is excellent. Now, yes. how will you explain it? Very simple. Record. Uh, record, we have to record. Record is for, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how can I explain. Okay, I'll tell you right now. Okay. You say record if it's a noun. The stress is in the first syllable. And we activate Zoom because we need to record every session. Okay. Um, so in that case, it's a verb. How can I identify teacher? Okay, right now. Or. So we're analyzing exactly the same word, but that word has double pronunciation. Tiene doble pronunciación como se pronuncia. Record, como dijo Rose, he broke the new record. Record es un noun. Pero si usted pone record, está diciendo record porque es un verbo. Lo mismo sucede con el Que les pregunté al inicio. Uh, and you can use record for a CD player of a band? Sure, sure. So you said, okay, when, when the cameras, when you see the cameras, you scream and you do whatever because they will record because, this concert. Uh -huh. Right. So process or process. The process is difficult. Process, it's a noun. So we have to process all the information. It's a verb. Okay. In that case is where does she process? Exactly. Yes, process. Okay. Yes. Okay. Where does she process the payments? What will be the answer? Uh, she processes the payments on she her desk. She processes. She processes the payment on her desk or her office. Okay. How do you say contaduría in English? Accounting. Accounting. Account. Accounting. Accounting. 
right? What is question number three? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? What does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Vamos a ver, ¿quién nos puede ayudar? Vilma, can you hear me? Vilma, Vilma. Janet Morales, can you hear me? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so what does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? Maybe Ingrid. Anything. Okay. Ella Ingrid. practica, ella cocina, anything. Ingrid. Um, listen to music on Wednesday. Okay. It may be Ingrid listens to music listen. on Wednesdays. Good. Very good. And then we have number four. What is the answer for number four, people? Osmin, do you have answer number four? Question number four? Uh, when the Raul Mantén employee? No. no. Okay. Cuando los empleados adquieren la materia prima? And next week. <laughs> when the employee adquire the Raul material. Okay. Okay. Employee is what 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 subject is employee? In A. In Sunday. Employee. Who? A quien estamos haciendo referencia cuando decimos employee? A ellos. Un empleado. Ah, un empleado. Uno. Exacto. Un empleado. Exacto. Employee is, is much. Exactly. Employee much. es empleado so, yes. o empleada. Okay. So we're talking about he or she, cualquiera de los dos que sea, siempre vamos a ocupar el mismo uh, 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 auxiliary. What is the auxiliary in this case? Does. Does. Exactly. When does? When does employee acquire, acquire the raw material? Yes, the raw material. Raw material. Raw. raw. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba raw material? Materia prima. Materia prima. Eh, materia prima. prima. Materia ¿Cuál prima, es el otro prima. significado de raw? Crudo. Crudo. Excellent. Crudo. Excellent. Very good. O si digamos usted ve un accidente muy serio, usted dice, that's raw. Mm -hmm. O sea, que está muy okay. fuerte. Yep. Okay. How do you say employee in plural? Employees. The same, the same E, E, S? Or exactly. just without, one? Yeah. Without S, right, teacher? Yeah, double E and one S. Okay. Double E and one S. Employees. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, ¿Se acuerdan ustedes la diferencia entre la denotación y la connotación de una palabra? Denotación. Denotation, connotation. Porque el raw, what's the meaning of raw? Denotation, dijimos que era materia prima. O crudo. O crudo. What is connotation? La connotación es como la gente ocupa la palabra. Entonces, dándole el ejemplo de que usted ve un accidente muy serio. That's raw. It says, that's raw. Ahí está diciendo. Very heavy. Very serious. Pero esa es la connotación. Pero esa es la connotación. Uh -huh. Ajá. So, denotation is the real meaning of the word. La denotación es el verdadero okay. significado, el que usted va a encontrar en un diccionario. Okay. Connotation es como la gente lo, lo ocupa. Got it? And, and when, some, some, when somebody is talking about petróleo, people uh -huh. call crudo. Yeah, raw material. Yeah. Ah, raw material. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. O sea, perdón, teacher. Yeah. La connotación es como el significado que cada persona le da a las cosas, ¿no? Correcto. Un vale. ejemplo. Eh, ¿Alguna palabra que solo tenga significado aquí en El Salvador? 
Pero saliendo de El Salvador ya no significa nada. Eh, por lo menos... Este... Y generalmente hablamos de palabras malas. Eh. <risa> La violencia está cruda, dicho. <risa> oh, ok, Ok, digamos, en el país, eh, la palabra Big Zero, ¿saben qué es un Big Zero, verdad? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. So, esa palabra cero y termina así, sí. tiene significado aquí en el país nomás. Es nuestra ah. connotación. Pero si usted va a México, no significa nada. O, o, la, palabra, o la palabra cabal también. Ok. Cabal... No lo entienden en otros países, solo aquí. Right. Teacher, or maybe we say churumba. <laughs> What is churumba? It's like the bottle. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Chivo. Chivo. So the, yeah, chivo. only have a connotation. No. Yeah, in El Salvador, the connotation of chivo is cool. Esta chivo cool. tu carro. Esta chivo el libro. It's cool. Pero en otros países probablemente chivo es solamente un animal. So that's the connotation. ¿Qué en, Guatemala teacher, en Guatemala, uh -huh. teacher, también a los niños le dicen patojo. Cosa yeah. que yo no me quedé sorprendido. Patojo. Exactly. Exactly. Cuando nosotros le decimos aquí a los niños, le decimos bichos. Y ellos cuando nosotros le decimos bichos, piensan que son insectos. Correcto. Y patojo para nosotros es alguien que no anda caminando bien. Ajá. Sí. <risa> exactly. So, usted cuando mira una palabra nueva, ok, esto es lo que yo aprendí en, 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 la, en la clase, pero es responsabilidad suya averiguar de qué otras maneras pueden. Le voy a dar el nombre de un diccionario, fíjese, lo voy a poner ahí en el chat. Urban Dictionary. Ahí usted va a encontrar... Todas las malas palabras que existen en inglés, eh, sí. todos los dichos que dicen en inglés, porque los dichos es muy importante saber qué es lo que están diciendo. Right? So, Urban Dictionary. Los dichos, los dichos son como los phrasal verbs. No. No. Decir phrasal verbs en, en el dicho. Son, uh -huh. sí. Pero un dicho es el que con. El que anda, ¿cómo que dice? Dime con quién andas y te diré quién eres. El que mal anda, mal acaba. Eh, Esos son dichos. Eh. Urban, uh -huh. ¿Ah? Urban Dictionary have word bad. Yeah, it has bad words. It has bad words. Porque regularmente usted busca una mala palabra en inglés. Por decir, F-U-C-K, es probable que le digan esa palabra no está en nuestro listado. Urban Dictionary, con gusto le va a decir a qué se están refiriendo. Y, pues, lastimosamente, la digamos aquí en el país, usted va en el bus y van dos tipos hablando así algo raro. Usted tiene que entender de qué van hablando. Y no quiere decir de que usted habla como ellos, pero tiene que tener la capacidad de entender qué es lo que están diciendo. Y el cohete le dice uno al otro. Uy. Isa dice. Salto dice. Busco. Aquí me bajo dice. Ok. Anyway, so that is the difference between denotation and connotation. So, le resumo ahí. Denotation es el verdadero significado de la palabra. Connotation es como la gente ocupa esa palabra. Es significado popular, digamos. Correcto, sí. Eh, de, de, el significado que se le da localmente. Ah, también. Okay. Ajá. Pisto, todos queremos pisto aquí en el país, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿Qué es sí. pisto en México? En México es lana. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué significa pisto en México? Pesos. Ay, no. no. Ah, es eh, drink beer. Drink exactly. alcohol. Exactly. Entonces le llama a su amigo y le dice, hey, vamos a pistear ahora, le dicen. Pistear means drink. Aquí pistear es darle dinero a alguien. Right? All right. Any questions or comments about this exercise? 
No. So here we go with the last, uh, with the last exercise. Vamos a trabajar otra vez en pareja. Va a trabajar con alguien diferente. And you will create. Va a crear. We're going to do part six. I need a volunteer to read part six, please. Create. Create a conversation uh, with partners about uh -huh. their daily activity at work mm -hmm. and ask questions for extra information about uh, in someone in, else's someone else's duties. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Osmin. So, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a crear una conversación con dos compañeros acerca de sus actividades diarias en el trabajo. Después, va a hacer preguntas uh, para extra información acerca de las actividades de alguien más. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. Let me see this here. here and this right here okay so just talk about your daily activities go ahead
Permit tangan. What do you do with dates? Um, A. M. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y luego la descripción de algunas cosas que hace. I, Por ejemplo, en el ejemplo dice, I prepare the machine. Uh -huh. I write the report. Financial. Financial, ¿cómo es? Financial. 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 Mm -hmm. you, you write a financial report. Mm -hmm. You write. Write. Mm -hmm. I cuadrar. Cuadrar. Va no, perfecto, está bien. Está bien. bien. Okay. De esas cinco puede, puede tomar unas tres o cuatro. Bueno, vale, está bien. I am ready, Nicole. Ok. Ready. Este, Janet. <risa> vale. Yes. Si gusta, eh, empiezo con Janet y después sí. eh, nos pasamos con, con usted, Osmin. Sí, está bien, así aprendo más. Gracias. Vale. Estamos bien. Perfecto. No, yo porque como las ladies son primero, ¿verdad, teacher? <risa> Lady are first. Exactly. Ladies first. Ladies first. <risa> sí. Uh, vale. Entonces, ¿qué le podría decir acá? Eh, what do you do on weeks? Este me dice qué es lo que hace los días de semana. Ok. ¿Qué pasó? Nos cambiaron. Pues es la like que. It's time. It's time. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I know that your uh, your exercise was incomplete. No lo lograron terminar, pero it's time already. Eh, Alguien que se incorporó tarde y perdió la asistencia cuando llamé. No, let me, let me check here. Ok. 
Okay, Sandra Carolina, no. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop here. Uh, do you have any questions or comments? Preguntas? No, I don't have. No, okay, so thank you very much for your two hours. Yo sé que no está fácil venir a conectarse dos horas al final del día. Yo sé que es cansado, pero... Ahí vienen las recompensas después. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Husband. All right. Good. Evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See ya.